builder came back and put a few chairs underneath the rebar here. Three of them. And I picked it up a little bit. Still needs to dry. And honestly, we could use a couple more chairs. Hey, Brian Carling. Coming on in. This is the interior walls video. And uh, just kind of working our way. This is what I've done to most of these. A couple of them I can't remember. Like the living room, I don't remember. Fireplace does not have a hearth extension. And that might be okay. That might be okay with the manufacturer. Manufacturer specifications, they're right there. There's some instructions. They'll tell you whether you need a hearth or not. Manufacturer specifications supersedes code. I've worked a bunch of these windows already. I just haven't spent very much time. I spent all my time going through the living room. I didn't haven't spent that much time in it. So, I spent all my time in the kitchen. But I didn't spend enough time in the kitchen. I've been meaning to do this and meaning to do this and meaning to do this. And I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. What kind of distance do we have here? 44 inches. I think ideal is 48, but now we're moving over into this area. So I think the last time I read was 48. Their dishwasher see. It's been making, making water. Yeah, it has. Yahoo. Did I? I did. Okay. <laughs> Saw something over here. See, I spent all my time in the kitchen. It's the same at home. I'm just kind of seeing what the lay of the land is. We're missing our baseboard between the kitchen and the laundry. The deadbolt does not engage 100%. See this? That's 100%. Okay, make a liar out of me. Okay, it does engage 100%. This is a tempered safety glass. That's called a bug. Because it's closer than 24 inches. That. I did. That's what I thought I'd done. Been there, been there. Been there, been there. Okay. And I say I've been everywhere but the living room. I guess you don't know this, but um, or maybe you can tell because I sound tired. But um, I don't produce the videos in the same order that they're published in the inspection report. And I save this video for the very end. It's very end when you get to the um, garage door opener. You're going to hear me grovel unless I say thank you very much. Thank you 
very much for your business. Thank you very much for your trust. That means everything to my family and I. And the glue right there. And then, can you see the daylight underneath this door? We got the door sweep. Trust me. When I'm, when, I'm, when I'm running through the living room, I've been seeing that daylight underneath that door sweep all day long. And you will too. Mm. Tile. It's little glitches and stuff. Okay, I've got it all figured out. I'm going to put my pool table here. And then, okay. Been here, been here, been here, fixed windows. <clears throat> ah! Look here. Can we do this? Why you? I'm a builder. I am a builder. Been there. You screw on you? Yeah, you do. Double pane vinyl frame windows. This is the middle bedroom, and that is the overflow drain for your air conditioning system. Right there. So when water's leaking out of that, you know that you got an issue. Right, right in here, little glitches like that. Linen closet. I can't remember. I think I did that, but I can't remember. So, it doesn't hurt to do it twice. It doesn't hurt to tell you twice that the bathtub is dripping. Another linen closet. I've been in here. I've done all these. Okay. Deja vu. I need to close that door. Now, I'll talk to any of anybody about home inspection. But this is to my client. If you got any questions about this house. Do not hesitate to reach out and give me a call. We'll talk about it. Anything I can answer. It goes on to the other videos and the other parts. So, um, maybe I'll put it to my eye. See, it's the angle. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Call me.